So this time we're going to look at procedures again, uh, but this time we're going to use something called parameters with procedures. We know that procedures are efficient ways of storing code ready for reuse. And if we click on add all, here is my draw square procedure stored so I can use it again. If I close that and if I type in the name of it to run it, I get myself a nice square drawn. So I know it works. I'm just going to clear down my screen with CS. And if I wanted to go in and edit, I could use that command as well to take me into the code. And I could change the size of it as we looked at last time. So I could just change the number of pixels that it draws out when it goes forward each time. Um, but what might be nice is if I can specify the number of pixels at the time that I run it rather than going in to edit it. And that's what you might use parameters for. You declare parameters on the top line just after the name of the, the procedure using the colon there and then the name that you want to give to such a parameter. So I might just call mine size. So use colon and size. And I also put colon and size in the place which is going to use that value. So it's passed into the procedure here and used in the procedure here. Now you might see how this works a little bit more in a, in a moment. So if I do, if I call up draw square 200, then it's going to use 200 here as well for the forward command. I'm just going to save that and let's try it out. So put in draw square 200 and this time we get a much bigger square because I've passed in 200 as the parameter and the parameter was used just after the forward command. So that's how parameters are used. So it's efficient because I can just choose at the time what it is that I want as my size. 